Hi, I am Laurel and I'm one of the veterinary technicians at the Dallas Zoo. Our other vet techs include Deb, Cass, and Morgan. We basically are the right hands to the veterinarians. Everything and anything that you can think of as far as nursing, drawing blood, taking care of the lab samples, placing catheters, radiology, assisting in surgery, we do it all. Our first line of defense as a veterinary department is the keepers. So with this particular snake, the keepers noticed that he all of a sudden was holding his head crooked. And there was no obvious trauma and has turned pretty much into a long-term pain management situation. Today I am packing up our little treatment pouch for my favorite black mamba. He's at least seven feet long, so we have plenty of snake to treat. And we are actually using fentanyl patches, which is a pain medication that is absorbed. Opioids have been used quite a bit with reptiles, but this particular patch treatment, this will be the third study to be completed with it. We recognize and always keep in our minds that this is a highly dangerous animal, but we have very safe procedures here. Our reptile staff are very highly trained. When I go in to do a treatment, I feel 100% confident that everything's gonna be done right and we're gonna be 100% safe, but it's largely because of their speed, how fast they are and how potent the venom is that kind of has created this label as the deadliest snake, but he's a good guy. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and get our last sample on our black mamba for our pharmacokinetic study. Uh, we'll get a blood sample, we'll change out his patch, and we'll be all done. Sounds good. He has been on this treatment now for almost a year, and he seems to be doing much better on it. The kink in his neck is maybe about 60 to 70 percent improvement, and he also can move around his exhibit again like he used to. That's our number one indicator that we're, we're getting there. We're holding hands. It's like a pretzel. <laughs> Mamba love. Deb is our lead technician. She has kind of taken it upon herself to go to a lot of extra schooling to learn to do ultrasound so that our vets are freed up during the procedures. It's a very specialized skill. This is Zena, our Tamandua. She's a lesser anteater here at the zoo and she is pregnant. So we are just doing weekly checks to make sure that her pregnancy is progressing and that her, this baby has a strong heartbeat, which it does. It's getting bigger and bigger every week and this heartbeat looks great. Everything looks good, everything's normal. Let's see, I can see some uh, feet in there. Uh, this baby is um, old enough now, you actually see the claws sometimes on the ultrasound, which is kind of cool. <laughs> Like more avocado, please. <laughs> so I'm sure you guys have seen that we had our second baby, Chamandua, born at the Dallas Zoo, which is a very exciting feat. Our mama has been a fantastic mama. I love being a veterinary technician because we not only get to work with some of the most amazing animals on the planet, but we are part of that fight for their conservation. And it is just a fantastic job that really is done because of the passion for the animals. So I wouldn't have it any other way. On the next episode of Inside the Zoo, you'll be following our vets through some pretty amazing procedures. <laughs>